Primary HCC is one of the most common malignant tumors in the clinic. It has the characteristics of early diagnosis, rapid progress, and high mortality. Traditional ethnic medicine has a natural advantage in controlling the development of HCC patients, improving symptoms and signs, and improving the quality of life. Traditional Mongolian medicine has been used for the treatment of liver fibrosis for hundreds of years. This study investigates the role of carbacrol in regulating hepatocellular carcinoma based on network pharmacology. To analyze the effective components of traditional Mongolian medicine, the Du, Honghua, Chiwei powder, the active compounds of safflower were collected by TCMSP, TCMPTD database, and literature mining methods. A total of 21 safflower active ingredients were predicted. The targets of active compounds were predicted by Swiss Target Prediction Server. The target of anti-hepatocellular carcinoma drugs was collected by Disgenet database. A comparative analysis was performed to screen out carbacrol, which was determined as a possible active ingredient according to the five principles of drug-like medicine. According to carbacrol's possible targets and possible targets of hepatocellular carcinoma, Three co-targets, including DAPK1 and PPP2R2A, were identified. DAPK1 is a positive regulator of apoptosis and is widely expressed in normal tissues. Its low expression or absence of expression has been confirmed in a variety of malignancies. It plays a role in inhibition of metastasis and has anti-tumor activity. PPP2R2A is a regulatory subunit of protein phosphatase 2A PP2A. It plays a key role in cellular processes such as cell proliferation, signal transduction, and apoptosis. In this study, the mouse liver cancer model was established and treated with carbacrol. A total of 45 mice were randomly divided into three groups. The first group was assigned as the control group. The second was the HCC model group, and the last one was the carbacrol group. The carbacrol group received the drug intragastrically until the end of the 20th week, and the other two groups received normal saline solutions. After 20 weeks of carbacrol treatment, the carbacrol group showed a significant increase in DAPK1 levels and a decrease in PPP2R2A levels following analysis by Western blot. DAPK1 may possibly reverse regulate the PPP2R2A gene. Co-immunoprecipitation confirmed the endogenous interaction between DAPK1 and PPP2R2A. Carbacrol's pathological effect on HCC model mice was also studied. An HE staining showed the characteristic features in model control mice and carbacrol treated mice. Providing new targets for the treatment of HCC in the future will help resolve the problem of tumor invasion and metastasis. It also provides an experimental basis for the development of efficient, specific, and targeted drugs for HCC and provides useful experience for the development of ethnic drugs.